Hi, kids. Today we will learn about plants. So let's start. We all see a lot of plants around us in our daily lives. Plants are there at our homes, in our garden, on the roadside, and almost just everywhere. Now let's try to understand how important plants are for us. Plants are very important for all the living things. Most of our needs are met through plants. We eat different plants and its parts as food. Like we eat fruits, vegetables, there are all parts of plants. All the herbivorous animals eat plants to live. And then carnivores and omnivores, animals, eat them. That is, the herbivorous animals as food. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Cows and buffaloes eat plants to live. Then they give us milk that we drink. So, plants are the primary source of food for all of us. Plants purifies the air for all other living beings to breathe. Plants take in carbon dioxide from the air and gives oxygen into it. And all animals, including humans, need oxygen to breathe. So plants provide us oxygen to breathe. Plants provide shelter to many birds and insects. So many birds make their nests on trees. Even we need plants for shelter. As plants provide wood, for our furniture, and so many things for our house. Most of the medicine are made from the various parts of different plants. Now let's see different parts of plants. Plants have different parts. Let's learn. These are the roots of the plants that help the plant to stay upright. It fixes the plant into the soil and also help plants absorb water and nutrients from the soil. These are leaves of plants. Leaves are called the food factory of the plants. Leaves help plant prepare its food using the sunlight. These are fruits of plants. Fruits store the food of the plant. This is the stem of the plant. It helps the plant stand upright and transports the water and minerals to every part of the plant. These are branches of the plants. These are flowers. Flowers produce seeds for the plants. There are many different types of plants. Different plants differ in sizes, shapes, and color. Plants vary in size from very small to very big plants. Leaves of plants also differ in shape and size and color. Kids, let's see what are seeds. Almost all the fruits have one or the other type of seed in them. Like mango has a big seed inside it. Papaya has so many small black seeds inside it. Watermelon has so many black seeds inside it. Apple has a few small black seeds inside it. Strawberries has so many seeds outside it. Strawberry is the only fruit that has seeds outside it. These are small seeds 
that are outside the fruit. Seeds come in different sizes, weights, colors, and textures. Here are a few seeds. Apple has small seeds which are light in weight and black in color. Peach has a big seed which is heavy and brown. Mango too has a big heavy and white seed. Watermelon has small light and black so many seeds. Papaya has small light and black seeds. Strawberry has small light and brown seeds. Remember, it's the only fruit which has seeds outside it. Kids, can you tell me seeds are living things or non-living things? Let's see. Each seed contains the things it needs to grow into a new plant. If a seed gets suitable environment like water, sunlight, warmth, and an adequate amount, a small plant comes out of it. So kids, although seeds do not eat, move, or have senses, they are living things because they can grow into new plants in a suitable environment. So kids, today we learned a lot about plants. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.